right, we've moved on to the last portion of Anatomy Lab. We're going to be looking at the brain. So here's a whole brain, and this one has the dura mater on it. So this is the, uh, the tough outer covering. It's called meninges, but this is the dura mater. So, um, you know, if it was, we're looking for dura mater, it's going to be this, this covering. Then when you retract that back, the men meninges, the covering that directly covers the brain is the pia mater. It's really thin. You can kind of see that my pin is underneath that it's it's real thin um, but it covers over the brain and so you know you can kind of see it it's real shiny looking when you move the brain but if you see a pin in there it kind of looks like it's just like sliding right under you know basically almost nothing that's going to be the pia matter if we move on kind of looking at some of the structures of the brain. Um, this piece is kind of separate on the brains and it has a little bit of the dura mater on it, but what we're looking at here is the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland is right here. A lot of times this piece gets taken off so we can see some uh, more features on the brain here, but that would be uh, the pituitary gland. We look at some major areas on the brain. Um, all of this part here is this is the cerebrum. So a lot of times I like to put a little piece of string or yarn over that and then I would put my pin through that and that indicates that I'm looking for that whole area not just you know one little ridge or groove. So when you see that that kind of is, is giving you an idea of a whole region. So all of that is going to be the cerebrum. Then as we kind of move back here this structure right here that kind of has all little worms on it that's going to be the cerebellum. So once again you know if I'm looking for the cerebellum itself, I could put a little piece of string on that for cerebellum, whereas all the little ridges on there, all the little lines, those are the cerebellar vermis, and vermis means worm, so you can kind of see all those little lines or ridges. So like I said, for cerebellum, I try to put it over the whole structure, like with a little piece of, of yarn. Um, with like cerebellar vermis, I just put it in one of those little individual like ridged areas. Um, oh, here's a good place where you can see that pia matter over here. So you guys see that real thin layer right here? That's pia matter. It's still attached there. It's very delicate, so sometimes it gets ripped. So pia matter there. Um, as you kind of look at the brain, you'll be able to see some regions. So once again, if we put a piece of string kind of over that, like that, we're looking for brain stem here. So the brain stem is there, so we'll be able to see that region as well. If there's a pin that comes directly out of the back here, that's going to be the spinal cord because as you get to this part here, this is going to be the spinal cord. So if the pin is coming right out the back there, I'm looking for spinal cord versus the string over this part would be brain stem. Where that pituitary gland attached, so where this attached right here, there's a little stalk that attaches right there. So you can see some of that stalk that's left right here. A lot of sometimes the stalk gets attached there and you end up with just a little hole. What this area is called is the infundibulum because that's the stalk that attaches the pituitary gland to the rest of the brain. This region right in here, so if you kind of pull back just a little bit and you kind of see this area right here, um, it kind of has like little lines. It reminds me of like a stalk of a mushroom. That's going to be the cerebral peduncle that we have there. Um, if we look at the front here, this groove that you're seeing right here that separates the two cerebral hemispheres, that's going to be the median longitudinal fissure that runs right along the midline there. So it's going to be median longitudinal fissure. Um, in general, all of the ridged or hill areas are going to be a gyrus. So all of these would be a gyrus here. And all the little grooves that you're seeing, any of the little grooves along here, those are going to be called a sulcus. There are two, uh, two specialized um, gyruses and one sulcus that you will have to know. So if you kind of find this little area right here where it kind of makes almost like a little C shape here, we're going to have the pre-central gyrus. This is the pre-central gyrus. This back here is the post-central gyrus. And then this right here is the central sulcus. So that's a special area where the uh, sensory and motor cortexes are. So pre-central gyrus, post-central gyrus, and then that central sulcus is right there. On the side we have one additional fissure. So right here is going to be the lateral fissure. So it's on the side. So lateral, so lateral fissure is right here. 